Esi ja arvuti ei ole tavaliselt kaks sõikest asja, mida inimene esimesooga mõtleks, et oma vahel kokku sobivad. Aga siin termalteiki alas näidatakse, kuidas saab need kaks asja väga hästi oma vahel sobima panna. I'm Tony from Thermaltake. Today we're going to be talking about some distro plates. We have our DP of specifically made for the P5 series. It does come with a D5 pump as well. This one's engineered to actually fit around a 360 millimeter radiator on the case. So you get that really nice look. Everything's still flushed up against the case. I really like the whole distro plate series a lot because there's a lot that it does. For instance, on a P5, right about here or so, you would have a pump that sticks straight out. And then you'd be working around around that to do all your tube bands and try to channel everything back. With the distro plates, you have convenient out ports, for instance, to where you can run straight out to like the GPU, maybe run straight out to a CPU, and then return all the lines back to where it'll actually line up and match up. So it makes things really, really easy at that point. And then, I mean, just the stock appearance that you get is just, it's gorgeous, gorgeous. I mean, here's actually another one that we have right here. This is kind of like a bigger implementation where the entire case is a distro plate. Uh, this entire back is actually functioning as a full reservoir. The pump's mounted into the case, so there's no extra things that you have to worry about. You know, you don't have to worry about an extra big pump sitting around in the middle of the case, taking up space, or having to work around it. This makes it all really, really easy. It has a really, really nice look in there. And then I know so far I've mentioned two specifically built distro plates, but if you're not running a thermal take case or maybe you don't have a P5 or something to that extent, we also have a solution for you. And doubling back, that's going to be our DP100 D5 Plus distro plate. This guy is amazing because it fits anywhere the 360 millimeter radiator will. So I mean, if you have a case that's geared for it, you can mount this in the front panel, maybe a side view like how we like to do with a lot of things. It's very, very versatile and it just gives your, your build just that extra clean look that you can see the coolant that you've you know, gone through all the work towards figuring out what you want to run. You can actually see that running in front of you. And I mean, like I said, these fit anywhere that you mount a 360 millimeter radiator. So they're really, really cool. There's tons of options for these guys. So this is our distro case, the 350P. With a little bit of something extra, I think it's a really, really cool example to show off just what these things can do with the right coolant. The flow from the coolant that you get from the back of the distro plate, no more, like, is your PC only gonna look great from one side? It's almost a full 360 now, you know? This is something where if I had it in my house, I would wanna show it off at a certain angle just so everyone can see the back panel as well as the front. I mean, just, this is my personal favorite, this little waterfall that comes over and just, splashes on the two T's, it just looks glorious. <laughs> right here we have a really good example of the DP100 D5 Plus inside just a regular case. You know, this is our level 20 RS. We generally have 360 mounting in the front, up top and on the side, but one of the best places to put the distro plate in this particular case is just right there on the side. As Soon as you look into the build, that's one of the first things you see and it, just, it looks great rather than just that cylinder coming up that like I said, you gotta work around. This makes life really easy. This is actually a really good chance to where you can see all three ports, the one at the bottom, middle and then the top just so that you can find the best two runs that you want to do to really make your system look good you know we try to give a bunch of different options depending on how many cards you're running and things like that moving along we have our AH T600 and just I really wanted to show off the, the great examples I mean these things fit basically anywhere you want it to had instead right here if they had wanted to have pulled the radiator and instead mounted a distro plate right here so you could see it through the nice glass windows it's a total possibility. And it's just something else that adds to your loop. 
to where there's more things that you can do. And it just comes out looking really, really nice. If you're gonna go through all the work for the water cooling, one of my big things is it really should look nice too. You know, like, like that's kind of, you want the performance, but you also want that aesthetic appeal at the end of the day. And I feel like that's just one of those extra touches that really helps things out.